found something. <laughs> a recipe! Zephyr, could you upgrade my wand for me? Oh, happy to. But, um, I do think you shouldn't venture too far into the gloaming. I know, I know. Harry already gave me a talking to about it. The wraiths you come upon may have tapped the wellspring's magic closer to the source, you see. They'll be harder to capture if they escape through the portal. I'll be careful, I promise. Here you go, Tara! Give it a wave! I want to make sure it's well balanced. It's beautiful, Zephyr. Your finest work yet. Ah, uh, thanks. I, 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 I do what I can. <laughs> Storms that make the river sing, fill my magic from the spring. Whoa, you've got some steam in your boiler today, Tara. This is great. I smell new item on the menu I've been experimenting I'm adding some new authentic Italian dishes to the menu my husband was from Italy did you know that I never had the chance to visit his family he and Juliet went once to meet his grandmother when she was still alive have you traveled much Tara yes and I can't wait to go off somewhere again I get so bored being in the same place. Really? I'm never bored here. But then I'm more interested in people than in places. After they got back from Italy, Juliet would hardly talk to Giacomo. She said something about her great-grandmother being weird, but that was all. But Giacomo's grandmother didn't speak one word of English. She couldn't have said anything to offend Juliet. <sighs> Teenagers. My dad didn't talk to my grandpa for a long time, and he was hardly a teenager. They made up after I was born. Huh. Well, at least they patched things up before Robert passed. I wish Juliet and Giacomo had that closure. Always tell those you love how you feel about them, Tara. Don't wait. <laughs> Never seen a winter like this on the island before. Hmm, neither have I. I worry that we are too few in number to turn it on our own. We've lost so many in recent years. Violet's mother, then Giacomo Moretti, and now Hazel. There's help out there, if we are ready to seek it. I think I know your meaning, but we've never had to call a witch to the circle before her powers came in. Wait, we can call a new witch to join us? Like on the phone no with an incantation perhaps wesley will have the one we need among his scrolls is it
entered the winter wonderland. Oh, uh, was it me? I'd better go check and see how everyone is doing. No reason to panic, everyone. She is still a seaworthy vessel. As soon as the ice melts, we'll have the best engineer in Milkwater come over on a tugboat and pull her out into the harbor for repairs. That could be a while. If my forecast is correct, we could be socked in for weeks. Now, let's try to remain positive. Give us right. At the very least, we ought to try and patch the hole in the hull before she takes on too much water. I'll help. That's the spirit! You see, with the right attitude, we'll get through this together! Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to, um, uh, check on the town stores. Tara, you wouldn't happen to be growing any tea on your farm, would you? Kai's all out of loose leaf tea, and I haven't had a good shy in ages. I'm not, but I could. That would be amazing. Kai said he still has some tea seeds. Oh, but for a proper chai, you'll need a few other things too. Here's my favorite way to make it. I'll get this greenhouse up in no time. Should only take a day or so. Hi, Tara. Need some parchment or maybe some new ink? Actually, I'm hoping you might have a special incantation in your ancient scroll collection. We need to call a new witch to the Coven Circle. Now that you mention it... I do think I saw something like that when I was doing inventory last week. Ah, here we are. You'll need at least four members of the coven to cast it round the circle with you. And here's the full list of ingredients for the incantation. You're calling a new witch? Oh, that will pull a lot of magic from the wellspring. It's unstable as it is. Your high priestess shouldn't act rashly out of desperation. The island has seen long winters before. Really? When? What happened? Oh, what happened was a bunch of colonists froze. Their leader couldn't resist the siren song of the stones. Hey, I've known plenty of sirens and they're unfairly maligned. It's not their fault since sailors can't steer their ships. Uh-huh. Point is, no one made it out of their camp in the woods that winter. I grew up here in that story and I bet Thomas did too. That's why he keeps clear. Right. And it was the call of the gloaming that brought them to ruin, not the winter. Take heed, Witchling. Hiya, Tara! Wanna see these build plans? Always. What's your latest invention? Oh, gosh, I, I didn't invent this. It's what humans would call an Archimedes screw. Very old. Okay, regardless of who invented it, what does it, uh, do? Oh, it pumps water from one place into another. So I figure I can replace the fairy's bilge pump with one of these. That way, the fairy won't take on more water while I'm repairing it. I mean, while Thomas, Parker, and me are repairing it. <laughs> All together. That's genius. What are you going to make the Archimedes screw out of? Bronze is best. It holds up real well in salt water. I've got loads of tin lying around to make a bronze alloy, but... No copper. Oh, could, could you fetch me some? Sure, no problem. Whoa! <laughs> Thanks! I can't wait to get started! Did you get your hands on any copper? I sure did. Have a look. Ah, this is just what I need. I'll melt the copper down and combine it with the tin straight away. I use a Grimspark family incantation to make the alloy extra strong. It's the niftiest thing! I'd show it to you, but you're not a Grimspark, so... Take this instead. Thanks, Zephyr. Don't mention it, my friend.
I brought the incantation to call a new witch from Wesley, High Priestess. Well done. Ah, we will need a giant lotus. I believe I've seen it pass a second pillar in the gloaming. If Terra's going back in the gloaming, I'm going with her. Very well. Let me know when you're ready, and I will place a keystone to open the second pillar. I still need to prepare a few things. Let me know when you're ready, and I will place a keystone to open the second pillar. Yeah, okay. Let's go. I'm ready to go past the second pillar, High Priestess. Very well. Novice and Herbalist, take your places on the portal. Ah, oh, look at all the sparkly flowers. You really are a magpie, you know that? Tara, look! Another Echo Blossom! No one seems to be taking Shelby's prophecy seriously. Lena and Giacomo just want to keep the town from finding out about us. Arno and Kaya are too busy planning their move back home, and Hazel seems distracted lately. But I can't forget what Shelby said. A daughter of the Coven will be in mortal danger. I will protect Violet, even if I have to do it alone. There... was a prophecy? About me? Why didn't anyone in the coven tell me? It really is my fault she came in here. She was trying to protect me. You can't blame yourself, Violet. It is not your fault. You were just a kid. I'm going to find her, Tara. No matter what, I need to know what happened. Is that what we're looking for? I think. Yes. Yes, it is. Go get it. You go get it. I would, but these are new shoes. <sighs> Fine. <sighs> oh, I guess I'm too heavy for it. Rude. We need levitation potion. Have you got some? Obviously. What kind of witch would I be otherwise? Okay, great. Now? Drink it. What is it with you and making me guinea pig these random potions? How do you know it's safe? Well, if it isn't, Amir will fix you right up. <sighs> Why do I let you talk me into these things? Well, it seems to be working, and I still have all my fingers and toes. Any extra ones? What? Nothing. <laughs> Is that another Echo Blossom? 
The newest with Jamira seems to have gotten very, very close with Perry. I hope Perry is honest and tells Amira what she told me once. As much as Perry enjoys the occasional mortal distraction, she only ever loved Vivian. Like, great-great Aunt Vivian? Wow.